Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Jamil from Honest Sense. Going to be talking about my five fragrance that I'm actually going to be wearing in the, in the fall time. I do have one honorable mention, but it's opposite. It's from the same house, actually from the same name. But anyway, if you like this content, please subscribe to my channel. Um, leave a message. Um, so, but anyway, um, yeah. So I'm going to be talking about uh, five fragrance that I'm actually going to be wearing in the fall time. Um, these fragrances are definitely uh, very good compliment getters that you would definitely like. And this fragrance coming at number five is from the Azaro line. It is most wanted. And by the way, I never smelled the um the parfum. I never smelled the um the wanted by night. I never smelled tonic. I never smelled none of them. Um this is the first fragrance that I actually smelled from Azaro. Um to be honest with you, I would never I was never interested in the house. Now this house definitely has my intention. This fragrance smells very, very high quality. I wish I would have bought a bigger bottle, but the thing is I have like so many fragrances in my collection. So I didn't really think I needed it to really get a bigger bottle. So I settled with the small bottle and I'm actually thinking I wish I would have did get the bigger bottle. But anyway, um, this is coming at number five. Um, basically with this fragrance, this the notes in this fragrance, I know it has cardamom, toffee, and some am amber wood. Um, it smells like a, a, a typical bubblegum fragrance. Uh, but this one is just a little bit more mature uh, for the older cats like me on 43. But anyway, um, this fragrance is like it's, it's, it's a little bit slightly spicy. It's a little bit slight, slightly sweet, but not like crazy sweet. A little bit of woody. Um, I think if you over spray this too much, it would definitely get sickly, sickly, sticky sweet. But on my skin... Um, I only go about four sprays and that I'm set like for the whole day. I'm talking about like seven to 10 hours. I'm set. I don't need to spray no more with this one. And this is just doing it in the springtime. And when I did it in the fall time, I actually lowered down my sprays, end up going like the four sprays, between three to four sprays. And that's bam, bam. And I go to my, I go hair, hair behind the neck and I just hit my chest and that was it. And I was like set and ready to go. What I do like about this fragrance, the, the, um, it's, 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 it could be casual, um, definitely for the spring, fall, or even in the winter time. You can even rock this going to the club. Um, it's not gonna like again, like you'll definitely get some compliment with, with compliment with this fragrance, but it's it's not gonna be overpowering the other fragrance that the other guys are wearing inside um, um, inside the club. But this one definitely is more like a close encounter. The, the woman that comes to you, she definitely going to give you a hug. And it's going to definitely say you smell nice. Because not all the time, yo. Yo, we don't need to be like wearing loud fragrances. But I do have a, a fragrance that's in here that people will consider that being loud. But on my skin, it doesn't it doesn't get as loud. It just, it just, it definitely is noticeable. But anyway, um, Azaro, wanted. Um, coming at number four from the house of Dior Sauvage. And this is Dior Sauvage Elix Elixir. This is the fragrance I was just talking about that some people may say is loud, but to me, it's not that loud. Um, I strictly wear this in this one in the fall and the winter time, but I have pulled this off even in the spring. Um, but I just go like one or two sprays and I'm like set. But in the fall time, I just go extra spray. And even in the winter time, I go to extra spray. So in the fall, winter, I go three sprays. In the spring, I go between like one, one and two, but most most of the time, just one. And the reason is um, because this lasts a little long, so I don't really, I don't want to put extra sprays on and, and stuff. Could I could easily get like fifteen to twenty hours just with this fragrance. And I'm not saying I, I don't take no shower between fifteen to twenty hours, but it just it still be on my skin even after my shower. But anyway, I like about this fragrance, um, the Dior Dior Sauvage Elixir. Um, again, I never smelled the, um, the parfum. I never smelled the EDP. I just went straight from the EDT all the way up to the elixir. When I first sprayed this fragrance, um, I sprayed it on a test, a paper test strip and end up catching, a, it gets, end up spraying a little bit on my hand. And I'm be honest with you, you know, I did not like this fragrance when I first sprayed it. I just feel like it was too spicy. It just wasn't my, just, just wasn't my taste. So I went straight to the um to the mall i went straight to the restroom try to scrub this fragrance off and um to be honest with you yo i went home took a shower and then all of a sudden i, I was like man I, I smell this i smell that same fragrance but it smelled so good and the next day i end up purchasing this bottle of this fragrance 
But anyway, the notes that's in this fragrance, it's got no, I, I know it's got nutmeg, it got cinnamon, it got some cardamom, it got some grapefruit, some lavender, amberwood, licorice, sandalwood, and Haitian vetiver. But anyway, what I like about this fragrance, um, it give it give you that Dior Sauvage. Um, it don't smells very very similar to it. It smells like it definitely is is it had the DNA in that house. And um, what I like about this fragrance, um, the the nutmeg. No, I would say the cinnamon actually make this fragrance fresh. It's it's not like a dark cinnamon. This is more like a light light cinnamon. Um. Definitely with the cardamom, you definitely get the cardamom. The, the cardamom is actually not just making this fragrance just a little bit spicy, but it's actually making this fragrance smell a little bit green. Not green, like 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 parfum de Marley, green leaf, not, not, not like that, but you could definitely get the, some greenness back, back backbone that's in this fragrance that I'm definitely getting along with that, this nice grapefruit. The grapefruit doesn't last as long, but let me tell you, you would definitely will smell it. Um, you would definitely pick it up and it, it would just, it just, it's not going to be prominent. The grapefruit never prominent in this fragrance. It's all about the spices and a little bit of freshness. And, um, and that's pretty much it. Spiciness and fresh. And, but the, that grapefruit just make it more tamed for it not to be overly, overly spicy. But, um, yeah, I like this one. This is a real good release from Dior Sauvage. To me, I think this is the best elixir that um uh, that's out right now i think the dior survives elixir and i think this one actually worth the retail price because it's it, number one it lasts long number, number two it just is a great fragrance number three the, the the quality is just excellent in this fragrance i i love dior survive elixir and uh, this is the small bottle um and i think a, a couple a couple like a, a year later then i think they come out with a, a real much bigger bottle which i didn't need it i'm probably um almost half to this bottle right here but anyway this is dior sauvage elixir coming at number four um coming in at number three you know this this fragrance need, need no introduction i think a lot of people had this fourth had this fragrance in a fall list all the time um this fragrance this fragrance been around for years and um it's really kind of hard to like not mention this fragrance in your fall list. And these people that they know who I'm talking about, these these fragrance people, um, they gonna like they always had this in their fall list. You really this is a fall staple, and this is now coming to number three from the house of Parfum de Marley, and this is Herod. Herod, great fragrance, cinnamon, definitely has some nutmeg. I mean some cinnamon, some nutmeg. Smells really, really nice. Has some tobacco in it. Real nice. This is a real good, nice fragrance. Um, definitely had a little bit more Middle Eastern. Great. The bottle is good. The quality is here. Um, also, it has some ice, I, um, ISO E Super that's in this fragrance. Smells real good. I'm getting about like seven to eight hours with this fragrance. I'll go about three to four sprays. Um, this is a real, real this is a real, real good, nice fragrance. That's just, just, just definitely to have. I don't really need too, too much talk about this fragrance because this fragrance, you could actually click on any channel and you could definitely read up about this fragrance. This is a, definitely a gem. Um, you know, the compliments is crazy when you wear this fragrance. Um, when I had this, when I, this is actually my second bottle. Um, I used to have the much bigger bottle and then um, this is like the, the, the one that's actually been, let me see. Um, yeah, this is the one that it says 80, 81% volume. Um, this is supposed to be a little bit, little bit more weaker. And I actually like this one crazy. I actually like this one better um, because it's much more wearable um, where I could actually rock this in, even in the springtime or even the fall, even the fall or the winter time. I like this one. Um, it's great fragrance overall. Um, getting tons of compliments. Um, it still works. Um, even to this day, uh, this is Parfum de Marley Herod. Um, talking about this other fragrance, um, this from the house of uh, um, Make a Left, Toxic. And let me tell you, they bottles is excellent, excellent bottles. Um, 
it's crazy because I had blonde bought this one. Um, and I got this fragrance because um, it was talked about a lot. And it wasn't, it was just something that, you know, um, it was talked about a lot. And I actually was walking past someone. I asked them what, what they have on. And they told me, it will make a left. But they did not tell me um, it was this one. And how I knew that it was this one, um, I end up um, just um, looking up and make a left. And, um, and this is the only one that showed up. And I could actually remember the, the smell that what I asked that guy. And, and he actually had this one on. Um, only by me though, like if I see somebody and you, if I say, yo, yo, you freaking smell good. I'm like, yo, where is it? You know what I'm saying? Like I, I ask, I'm not going to, it's not going to say nothing. I would ask a person and this fragrance was what it, what it was. But anyway, I ended up buying this fragrances and everything. And as I started digging more and they said it had this new cannabis. And let me tell you, I don't think it has cannabis in it, but I think that they, they created a, a evolution of trying to to come closer of what you can get to the note of cannabis. But anyway, um they had some I know they have cardamom. They had some um there's some other notes in this fragrance. I really didn't look up the notes, but anyway, but it's supposed to have the note of can um of cannabis. And the only fragrance that I know that I used to have, which I don't own no more, that has it's it had definitely had the cannabis in it, it was by the house of by killing smoke for the soul. And that fragrance right there you know it has some cannabis up in there. But this one right here, I don't think it has no cannabis. So if you have not smelled this one, um, go out and get a sample. Um, trust me, you're not going to be walking around smelling like a cannabis, smell like some weed or nothing like that. But anyway, this is a great fragrance. This is actually very, very versatile. Um, smells real good. Um, it's not challenging at all. Um, it's crazy. Um, I think like the cannabis just throws people off. Of, of thinking of this fragrance gonna be very hard to pull off, but you could easily pull this fragrance off. Um, this is by the house of M Make a Left. Um, the Dazer Toxic, um, great fragrance. Um, definitely wear this for the fall and the winter time. Um, even in the springtime, you could even rock this all year long if you want. But to me, I kind of like this in the fall and uh, in the winter time. But anyway, this is M Make a Left. I would love to try red. Red, um, red, I think red tobacco, no, it was a red, no, Colo red Colorado. I would love to smell that one. Um, I had seen a lot of time people actually talking about that one too as well. If I can get a sample of that one, I'm going to definitely get it. But anyway, this will make a left. This is coming at four. Um, coming at one of my, my other fragrances. This is by the house of Polo. Um, this is Ralph Club and Ralph Lauren, Ralph Club. And this is the Parfum. Um, this is the... I think the 50 mil bottle. Yeah, this is the 50 mil bottle. And I greatly love this fragrance. This is another fragrance that actually have the bubble gum. Um, the original um Ralph Club, I wasn't crazy about it. But um, but this one right here, I actually do like this one. I, I do like the parfum. Definitely get this. It's it's fresh, semi bubble gummy. Um I'm not saying like these two, like most wanted, and this one smells the same. But but this one has a different type of bubblegum smell, but it smells real, real good. Um, definitely has some citrus, not citrus, but like it, it has it has some a, has like I think a bergamot in, in this fragrance, but that would makes this fragrance smells real, real good. Um, a little bit of bubblegummy, a little bit creamy um, as um, when you first spread, obviously it's fresh. But then when it dry down, it still stays fresh. So it's not like it's, it stays it's fresh, then it gets spicy, and then all of a sudden it, it kind of loses its body. But this is real, real good. I actually like this one. Um, this one, um, it's about almost, it's about like right here. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but I've been wearing this phrase a lot. I mean, I go at least about like five or six sprays with this one. And I'm getting like the whole day, sometimes 10, 10 hours with it. Um, Smells real good. You know, easy pick this up. It's very soapy too. It's it got some bubble gummy, but it and it also has some soapiness to it. It's crazy, but this is a very good fragrance. Um, um Ralph Club was never on my list. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause I didn't think they actually made too good fragrances, but 
it's just a real good one. Um, if you don't, if you can't get this one, um, if you then try to get this one right here, this is the Elixir, Roth Club Elixir. This is a real good one too. They're, so the, the two different with these right here, they both smell the same from the initial spray, but this one is gonna stay, remain fresh, slightly with that little bubble gummy. And this one's gonna goes down to that leather. Um, I like this one if, if I'm just wearing casual, but I like this one if you're gonna go dressed up. So it's it, they kind of same fit the same thing like spring, fall, winter, which you can buy both of these, either one. But if you want something just a little bit more dressed up in your in, in you know in your cologne collection, this one be definitely be good right here if you want to dress it up. You get that leather. And I like about the leather because to me, in the background, I get a little bit of ombre leather in this fragrance. It has some leather. Whatever the leather is, the Tuscan, not Tuscan leather, but a little bit of ombre leather and everything. But it definitely, I definitely get leather in this fragrance. A real good high quality. This is definitely high quality. It is a fingerprint magnet. So my fingerprints are all over this one. But anyway, if you like, if you like this, um, um, my content and lists and stuff like that, definitely leave a message. Um, subscribe to my channel and everything. Sorry it took so long just to pretty much um, give you my five fragrance for the fall. But anyway, um, peace out. Everybody have a good night.